Shalom everybody, welcome back to breastlive.org As what's happening in the world of the coronavirus and people are going nuts, panicky and everything Let us bring some insight from Rabbi Nachman's teachings to give us uh, direction and hope In lesson 37 of Likute Moran, Rabbi Nachman equates two items in the world He equates the holy air of the holy land to what's called in Hebrew, Hevel Pihem Shel Tinokot Shel Beit Rabban, the pure breath of the Jewish school children. The Gemara teaches, it's an amazing idea when you think about it, that the whole world stands on the pure breath of Torah study performed by little Jewish children who are before bar mitzvah, that means they haven't tasted sin, hopefully not never, but not yet at least, they haven't tasted the evil impurity of sin, and therefore their breath is not tainted, and thus when such people, such human beings, such children learn Torah, it comes down in the world in such a form of purity and solidness that it's enough to maintain, to... to, to to cause a stability and maintaining the existence of the world. Which means the opposite also. That if, God forbid, Jewish children, Jewish boys who have the mitzvah of learning Torah, are taken away from Torah study, it is very, very detrimental. Rabbi Nachman teaches that by giving charity to the Holy Land, and he equates in this lesson, the air of the Holy Land is akin to and strengthens the air, the, the Hevel PM, the, 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 the pure breath of the Jewish school children. So it's actually doing two things at once. It's number one, strengthening the presence of the Holy Land in the world, which is the goal. But also at the same time, it gives strength, re-strengthens the Hevel PM Shatin Okot Shel Beit Rabban, the Holy Breath of the Jewish school children. Now, never do I go into politics. I never try to go off and try to connect and give a personal view. Rather, we leave Rabbi Nachman's teachings general and allow the person who's hearing these ideas to to develop their own interpretation and own ideas. But here, where it's so clear what's happening, especially here in the Holy Land and also, I guess, in North America and and all abroad, where people now have been exposed to quote-unquote dangers of the coronavirus, where now one of the first or one of the levels of now restrictions is causing Jewish school children not to go to school and it could be a justified act action because there's a danger of a virus and this and there it's a chance it's a chance danger 50 50 or 60 40 or 80 20 whatever the ratio that a child can get infected from the chrono coronavirus but here Stopping Jewish children from learning Torah is a 100% damage. Here in this lesson, Rabbi Nachman's advice, giving tzedakah, charity to the Holy Land of Israel, re-strengthens the breath, the holy breath of the Jewish school children, and thus, we hope, will push off the, uh, any, any attack or any influence of the coronavirus or its fears and phobias and restrictions upon the Jewish people wherever they are in the whole world.